Alright, the time has come to make another Witcher 3 video. And what I have today is something that kind of blew my mind. Um, it's a scene in Blood and Wine that I never knew existed, which is also a reference to the Lady of the Lake Witcher book. For it, I have to thank a viewer of mine by the name of Tears of Sorrow. Okay, so you know how after you deal with the Bruxa and get Detlaf's hand, you have to go and meet the Duchess, but instead you run into Palmerin and a bunch of children. Then you move on to the arena where Guillaume gets injured and so on. Well, it turns out that there's an altogether different sequence that takes place if you either wait until it gets dark before engaging in conversation with Palmerin or just go to the place at night. What happens is he goes to his tent, which is nearby, and falls asleep. If you find him there, you can wake him up and get a cutscene where you two spend the night together exchanging stories, and Palmerin even mentions the sorceress, uh, and by sorceress I mean the, the succubus, excuse me, that he was involved with in one of the books, hence the book reference I mentioned earlier. So let me play the whole thing for you. It's late, I know. Sorry to bother you. But I need to talk to the Duchess. It's no trouble. I had not yet laid my head to rest. As to her illustrious highness, I fear you will have to wait until the sun has risen again. Make yourself at home. Milton mentioned you'd been to Corvo Bianco to see the beast's victim. Learn anything new from Naboti? I'd like the Duchess to hear what I have to say. We cannot disturb her at this hour. Well, since we have to wait anyway, steal yourself for a long story. And how is it we passed from your account of the investigation to reminiscing about the succubus? Because those were good times, and we were younger. Always nice to talk about that. Look, sun's up. Then let's tarry no more. Our enlightened highness is sure to have arrived at the two the grounds by now. Let us go. Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? Close, but not quite. And there we go. So many hours into the game and still totally new things to discover. I suppose it never occurred to me to visit that specific place during this specific part of the quest at night. And it really makes sense, because the little ones he was talking to during the day would probably not hang out after dark. And that was it. Big thanks again to Tears of Sorrow for sharing this with me, and to everyone else for watching. Special thanks to my YouTube members and supporters on Patreon for helping make all of this possible, and if you like to see some more interesting things about Blood and Wine and haven't seen my Details Missed videos, I do recommend you give them a look. Alright, until the next one. Stay tuned and be good. I never knew existed, which is also a reference to the Lady of the Book Lake. <laughs> Lady of the um, Lady of the Lake book. <laughs>